we are starting our Revit architecture class. So you can see this is the latest software, latest version of Revit 2021. So it, this screen look like this. And here you can see these are the recent files, the recent files you have accessed. And when you uh, start from the scratch, you will uh, see only some sample files over there. All right, sample for your architecture, structure, and uh, system is for your mechanical related, uh, mechanical plumbing and electrical related work. So you will see some sample works for same as model and some families. Okay, so you know you have learned about block, right? So in Revit, we have also that kind of thing that we called as family. You have learned about dynamic block. So here we called it as a family. So it is more like all the parameters you have about that uh, group of model and you categorize them. And all the parameters you can control, you, uh, you have all the rules about the uh, all the parameters uh, and the set of parameters. They are connected with each other. They can control the object. So that is all about your family. We will learn in uh, learn something about family. And here you see we have models and families to open some model. You can go with this option model uh, uh, open under this model option. And if you want to open uh, existing family file, so then go to open. OK, uh, so here you can see that we have model file and family file, right? So you must know about the file type. Exist in. Revit, so dot RVT dot RVT is the file type for model. OK, and. Dot RFA dot RFA is the extension file type for family files. OK, and next. We all have template files for your project files or your model files. Better we uh, say for project files, we have templates. So that has the extension type dot RFT. And for family to create family for particular category of families, we already have some existing family template files. So that has the extension type dot RFT. Dot RFT is the Revit family template. And you have uh, this model. Let's open this. OK, if you have some existing. Uh, here you can see this is your uh, uh, family files already created, so this family files is showing there. So we are not going to open any files. So just to show you that if you go to there, so there you can see. So what are the file types for uh, like for model uh, or Revit project file or Revit model file? You have RBT and you have RTE for model or Revit project template file. You have dot RTE or RTE is the extension extension type. And for family files, you have dot RFA. And for family template file, you have RFT. OK. So we will go with new. We will start a new project file. Here you see we are using a default template file right now. So you can choose from this list when you install your software. You got all this. Template with your software. OK, so you can choose accordingly like metric architectural metric construction. So you can go to your browse so it will direct you to that folder. So here you, you can go to this template. So you know this is the. Uh, Drive. This C drive you have program data, then uh, Autodesk, then 
according to your software version name you will have the file rvt2021 then under that templates and you will find accordingly so you have english and english imperial you have other options okay so that you can choose so you have some default like a default metric and these things are there better you choose from english if you want to uh, go with metric then choose english and if you want to go with feet and inches then go with english imperial let's choose with english and there you can have this commercial these things construction architectural or default default metric default us canada all right for electrical so we have some uh, res residential for residential we have some particular templates so uh, i have already discussed with you in the previous classes that what is about template okay so from here you can choose your right template so let's choose with default metric right now and now here you have this create new project or project template now if you want to create your own template then go with this project template and you are uh, going with this uh, existing so that you can have some uh, predefined settings and after that also you can modify so that you can go with if you want to define your own template so choose project template but in most of the cases we will create as a project so we will choose this project and click ok so same like that we can choose with family so let me show you that family I'm going to create new so you have new uh, family templates right so that you can go to english again so here we have some family templates later we will discover about all uh, most of the uh, uh, important family templates okay so we have some family templates and we will choose that and according to that we will start creating our family okay so here you see family template file is dot rft and let me cancel it so let's go with new and we will choose like a metric architectural template and create project click ok and it will open now when you open you can see this is a pro properties palette this is the properties palette and this is the project browser so in most of the cases you may have this project browser at the right side and properties palette at the left side okay so this kind of thing you may have properties palette docked at the left side project browser docked at the right side suppose you are not getting this even suppose there is any error so how can you bring it back so here you see properties palette is checked when you right click on the screen when you right click on the screen so within this menu you have this properties if you uncheck this it will not be there if you check this it will come back on the previous position and same like that you have this browser option project browser is there so if you uncheck project browser that will be disappeared and if you want to bring it back right click and under this browser go to project browser okay so now if you want to place it here like this way you want to place it this way you want to place it so that you can do uh, like if you want to have your bigger working area so for this this way you can dock it that you also can dock like this or else like this way the half properties palette and half your project browser okay so this way you can dock another way is there like you can have your project browser at the top 
and this way what you can do you can have tabs for your project browser and you can have tab for properties palette so this way also you can switch it okay whatever you require set it accordingly for most of the cases so how you can bring it back click on this project browser tab and then sorry not this way yeah bring uh, click and hold this project browser tab and drag it to the outside and then place it like this way at the bottom you can place it when you it will show you the area the proper area you can release your mouse pointer now we have this properties palette and project browser at the right place now let's talk about uh, this is the title bar you already know so here you will see this is the project one right now is showing this is the project one and in the project browser also you can see the name of your project that is right now project one so when you save with the name right name uh, you will have this project one uh, instead of project one you will have your real name of your project now this is your ribbon you know and this is your quick access toolbar and this is your uh, file or application menu okay uh, so we have our ribbon there you can minimize this ribbon to panels you can uh, minimize this to like uh, panel names okay so this way you can again minimize to tabs so this way you will get only tabs so when you will uh, click over there you will see so this way you will have a bigger area for your working area will have bigger working area this way so what is your requirement according to you customize okay next to is that we have this architecture so all the architecture related tools we have in this architecture within this architecture tab your wall door window and uh, all the other uh, furniture components so that you can have from this component uh, you can place a normal column or architectural column uh, ceiling uh, curtain wall ramp stairs and describing for all your components you have this text and we also have some annotation tools specifically and for structure related uh, creating structure related models we have this structure and we also have uh, some steel one steel tab for creating your steel structures precast we have this system is for mechanical electrical plumbing related work insert if you want to insert any external files so for that you will go to uh, this insert you have this load family, this import CAD, this, this things, this all things you have. Annotate for uh, your text, tag, detailing, uh, your dimensions, all the things, your symbol you can have from annotate. And analyze is uh, for your structural analysis you can do from this tab and you can create a, uh, any free form design any organic shapes with this massing conceptual mass we all we all have uh, we can create our site for that we have topo surface and uh, within the site all the components we have we can place them for collaborating with other team members if uh, like you know uh, bim is uh, one of the major part of BIM is collaborating with, uh, with the stakeholders, with all the project members. So for that, we have related tools under this collaborate tab to manage all your views and your sections, uh, your 2D views, your uh, schedules, your sheet that you can get from this view tab. 
and managing all your units, snap, uh, your settings you will have from this manage tab and add-ins for your extra tools. Like if you want to, uh, you can have this and you can uh, export it as a Nevis work file. We will know it in our Nevis work class and extra things you can have within this add-ins and Enscape that is a plugin. We will learn about Enscape also. Uh, we have on Enscape class. Uh, this is a real time rendering. You can have realistic image within few minutes. You can have uh, for your Revit project file. Now let's come to this architecture tab. Now here you see that within this working area, we have this elevations. These elevations you will have in default condition. All right, so within this, uh, I can say that if you create any a model within this area, you will have your elevations. Uh, by this elevations, uh, elevation camera, you can say. These things are there. So how you can create go to view tab and there you have this elevation. If you go to this elevation and there you can place your elevation cameras. Suppose you want you want to have any elevation from this angle. From this angle you want to have any elevation. So this is the east. This is north. This is your west and this is your south. So this way it is placed. Like let me show you if I place at this point, if I place like this, and after selecting this, this uh, this black arrow is the camera direction. So you see this is right now checked. You can hide it. OK, so right now there is no camera for this elevation and you want to have on this direction. So you have to check this box. Uh, you can after that you can uh, rotate it as well this way. So the position will be fixed, but you can rotate so that you can have. So this way you can place your elevation cameras to get your elevation. Let me delete this. Yes, click on OK. All right, so you have this undo option also. So if you click the last, it will undo all of them. So this way we will uh, if you don't have the elevation cameras, so you first you will set the elevation and now you can see this uh, project browser is there. So level one is right now highlighted in bold. So that means we are currently in level one. So this is this is under this floor plan. So we are currently in level one floor plan. I must say that. So project browser project browser uh, help you to organize all the view and all the asset related to your project. So this is one single place from where you control and manage all the views and all the assets related to your project. OK, uh, so here you see we have this trees. You can minimize, you can maximize these trees and you can uh, control all the views. You can right click and rename. You can delete this. You can duplicate with detailing and duplicate as a dependent so that we will uh, know about later. If you uh, want to close this, that will be closed. OK, so. Again, you can create with new. Click on OK. All right, so there you see this is project two right now. And we have this file tabs over there, but in the earlier version you cannot see this. File tab, so how you can switch if you have a uh, two two project or two uh, you can say two views are opened. Let me show you that. You see two views are open, so this these are uh, showing you. 
right? One level one and level two. But in earlier version, how you can switch? So for that, go to view and switch windows. So you can switch windows through this. Okay. Now here you see this is right now within two tab, but I want to see. I want to compare the two views. So for that, what I can do is I can make them tile views, make them tile views. So within that screen, it will fit. How many views are open that will be fit into this area? So that is about tile views and you want to back your tab views, go to tab views and you will have your tab views back. OK. Now. There you see this is the floor plan. This is ceiling plan and this is elevation. And right now we don't have 3D view right now. So if you go to this click and this 3D view, see this 3D view has been generated right now. OK, so now see this is your 3D view. This level has been created. These are the default layers level one and level two. Level one is uh, the zero height and level two is at the 4000. Millimeter height, so how do I know that is millimeter because I have selected metric template in that metric unit should be in millimeter at default condition so that that how you can change or how you can. Manage. So for that to go with UN, don't press enter like AutoCAD. So just type UN and your project unit window will be popped up. Then you have this area for area, how you want to display it. So like it is selected as square meter, you go with square millimeters and then how much decimal places like two decimal places unit symbol this is and you click OK. Same like that you can uh, change your area or all other units you can change like slope. You can go either degree or rise by 12 inches rise by one feet ratio is to 10. What do you want to choose that you can select and. After that you cl click OK and if you want to go with tab and icon so for that we also have this project units unit under this manage and settings within this settings panel you have this project units and you have this okay next uh, let's go to any elevation see this is your level 1 and this is your level 2 has been created. OK, so uh, you can switch within any view like floor plan or ceiling plan or 3D views or elevation. You can switch. Suppose you have this four views and you can go to again view tab and make them tile views and see you you have this right. All right, so let me create in any particular view. So for that, let me choose level one and there I will create wall. OK, so I'll ch choose wall and there I'll create wall. And here you can see that you are getting the reflection in all the views. So that is the best part. OK, and even if you change anything in any particular view, if you select there, it will be reflected in all other views. All right, so that is the best part. Here you can see and this is the properties palette. If you see this is the project, uh, this is the uh, component. This is the model the object you have selected and the properties related to it. You can see it in the in this properties palette and from here you can control it like uh, the height is there. OK, 
so that is unconnected it is not connected to any level so that you connect with that particular level so you can see this is the top constant and this base constant is level 1 as because in this uh, floor plan level 1 i have created so it automatically uh, selected that base constant is level 1 and top constant i haven't specified so that is why it is unconnected you can change it to up to level 2 and see that height is automatically uh, defined right now as because the level 2 height is 4000 already showed to you and you have to click on apply and if you don't even click on this apply if you just move your mouse pointer out of this properties palette it will be applied okay there you see so now here you can see this that all the all the uh you can see this all the walls i have created i just have selected this one and i have changed their uh, its its properties only so on this this is called instance properties this is called instance properties okay so now if i change if i want to change anything uh related to this wall category so here you see the category of the wall is same for for all the four walls you select this this will be generic 200 mm you select this this is generic 200 mm so if you want to change anything for that wall category so for that you have to change type properties so for that you go to this edit type and here you see this is type parameters or type properties okay and all the related parameters to this type you can change so we will come so this is the basic uh, basic introduction about your properties palette uh, your instance parameters or instance properties or type parameters and type or uh, type properties and click on okay so that you create okay so let's come to this again go to view and let's switch into tab views here you have all these tabs all right now uh, suppose you would you want level one in the first order so that you can drag it this way click and drag okay let's drag this Okay, so this way you can drag and make it at the at the first. And you see that as because these elevation cameras are created, so for that I I don't have to create elevation separately or extra. I don't have to create, so it will generate elevation for me. This east is there, so from the east view. I want to have and let's go to 3d there you see this is your 3d view and let's let's come to the front so here you see this is the front right now this is the front view okay in your project this is the front side this is the front side suppose so south is the front side suppose you want east you want east as your front so how you can do that how you can change that so for that this is the view cube and you have this context menu you go to this context menu and there you have this sent set front to view so if you select east and there you see that your east side is right now the front so that's that's the way to change the front side okay and now suppose this is the view you always want to see suppose this is the view you always want to see after finishing your work you want to see and this is the point from uh, this point you are getting all the corner views so this is the point and this is the view so you want to get uh, all you want to get it all the time 
So for that, what you do is go to this context menu and set current view as home. Set current view as home. Even after that, if you change it anything, so there is this home button. If you click on this home button and you will have you will get back your home view and that's you have set. So this way you control and how you can rotate around. You can orbit around. So for that the same option as your AutoCAD shift hold shift button and your mouse middle button and you can have the rotated view. OK, and uh, with the mouse middle button you can pan back and forth. And with the scroll button you can zoom in and zoom out. OK, so you can have all this. If you right click, you can have this zoom in zoom in region. So that area we can zoom. Zoom to fit. You can zoom out two times that you can specify. OK. And now let's focus into this navigation wall uh, navigation wheel. So to navigate we have this navigation wheel to zoom in within this particular wheel. You, have, you will have all of this orbit. You can orbit around click and hold you can pan. Now for uh, you can walk around like this. If you go to this. So for that we have some settings for work so that we'll look into later. So. So for that uh, you must go to perspective projection. OK. Go to this context menu and you must set perspective projection. Then only you can. Access this work. OK. And you can look up down. OK. You can look around only at the same place. You can look around. Your position will not be changed. And you can just look around. You can make this as a center. OK, and then you can look around. Then again, you walk around. OK, so this way you can access. Now again you can come back to orthographic mode and come to your home view. That's way. Now let's focus into some options we have. So for that. While operating your project. Before starting your project, you're creating your model. You must set some settings. So for that, let's go into general and save reminder. You can there like AutoCAD. If you uh, face any fatal fatal error, so that will be difficult to uh, restore your files. So for that, this reminder will help you to save. So you must always save your project. OK, so then only you will get back. So you should set like 15 minutes or 30 minutes. You can set all right and let's go to user interface. OK, so these things are there. OK, these tools, how it will be organized. These are the settings. Suppose you don't need your system tabs, your structure tabs you don't need so that you can uncheck. OK, let's go to graphics. So these things should be selected. You can change your background color. OK, like if you want black, you can select as a black. Your background color. 
Okay, so for that go to file and options. Again, come to graphics. You can change the selection here. You see uh, while you are selecting this will be the color. Let me change it to white. Okay. And next you can change the selection. This is the selection when you select the object. It will be this color and the pre selection. Pre selection means when you hover over the object, what will be the color? That is the pre selection. When you select it, that is the selection, that is the color. Okay, so let me change the pre selection color so that you can get the effect. So it's uh, totally up to you how you want to get it. Sometimes, you know, uh, contrast according to the user, it effect also. So uh, you can change the pre selection like this, like this color. Let me do it. So here you see the color has been changed. This is the pre selection. I haven't selected, just I, I'm hovering my mouse on this model. Go to options again. Now let's change it to white again. Click on OK. And I need this pre selection to like this. OK. Or this one. OK. Click on OK. So this is done. And click before clicking OK. So this is the hardware, the hardware setup. You can see the driver. OK. Now uh, file location, you can save the default path. I have saved. This is as a default path and the default path for your family template file. That is a default saved. You can change if you want to root path for your point clouds. And these are the file for your project templates. Here you see these are the files for your project templates. So if you want to remove anyone, any template file that you can select and you remove. If you want to add new, so you can select it and you can add a new one. Okay, and you want to change the order. So for that, these arrow, these arrow will help you to change the order, move it up or move it down. All right. Next. Go to this things. Steering wheels are there. What I have showed view cube. You can change the things related to view cube. Now come to user interface again. You have some keyboard shortcuts for all the for all the tools. You have some keyboard shortcuts like uh, if I go for unit, let's search unit. So here you see this unit is there. So UN is the shortcut when you will press UN this project unit window will be activated. So you can set your own uh, keyboard shortcuts. You can customize them. So for that, suppose wall. You search for wall and you see this is the right now. WA is the shortcut you select it. You want to assign new key. So for that like uh, W only you type it there W and click on assign. See right now this is assigned and you want to remove it after some time select it and remove. So this way you can customize your own keyboard shortcuts for all the tools. So you must go for uh, go through this. You will have all the shortcuts over there. OK. And after that, tell me if you want the list of the shortcuts. But before that, go go through this keyboard shortcuts, search all the tools by manually by yourself. Then you will tell me I will provide you the keyboard shortcut list. And cancel it. And. Sorry. The background. Yeah, OK. Now what you should do first. So first always go for your. 
elevations okay first of all you must create your elevations okay now you see that these two are the default elevations right now in your project okay so level 1 uh, should be there you can change the level 1 name and you can change the level to height you can uh, keep your default and you can customize them don't delete it because you have to create it again so that will be your waste of time don't do that so first of all we must create our levels because uh, we know uh, you know that uh, how many floors will be there for your project so you must create your level first okay so for that you cannot create level in 3d view or in plan view you can create your levels only in elevation or else in section view you have to keep in mind that you can create your levels only in elevation either in section view so let's go to in elevation like north okay now come to this datum panel here you see this level is right now activated if you go to any level 1 you see right now this level is deactivated when you come to this elevation this will be activated only all right so this is the level 1 so you can rename it just select it and click once and then you can rename it so how you should rename your uh what i say uh level how you should rename your level so this is the zero layer <coughs> or zero level this doesn't have any height right so you go with zero you can uh, give dot or not so but you should go with zero and then you specify ground floor or gf that you can specify this way so let me specify the name ground floor okay and you press enter and go for yes enter okay zero ground floor is there and next for level 2 that will be your first floor or suppose uh, there is any plinth level okay so let me specify the height for the plinth level uh like 600 mm okay that is the height from ground that is the plinth level okay so that will be what i will specify 0.6 okay 0.6 and then plinth level and press enter go for yes enter okay and then you will specify your next level you will create you will create your next level so how you go for that you can go to architecture and datum panel and there you can find level or what is the shortcut for level that is ll ll is the shortcut for creating level and here you have this line option and pick line option so line option you have to create your level line so how intelligent revit is that it it is showing you the distance from the last level okay so that you can create this way you can create and you see that your mouse pointer movement has some increment value right when you zoom out it has different increment value when you zoom out more it has more increment value or different increment value so i'm i'm showing you that how you can change the increment value over there so let me show you the line option with the line option so for that uh, let me specify like 2800 or 3000 so let's specify with 3000 and here it's showing you that when you it will align the point it it will show you it will show you this line okay and you can click over there all right and what do you have to do to uh, release your creation uh, you are right now in creation mode uh, if you click anywhere 
you will start creating it so you don't want to create any more so then you can uh, uh, press escape two times or you can type md okay so you will move out of that or you want to suppose after creating that suppose after creating one level you want to create you want to create another level all right so you want to create another level but uh, not right now you want to change it change the level or name so that you can uh, easily click on it and you can change the name okay so here you see this is showing you 3600 that's calculating from the ground floor okay so don't get confused now you can change it to one you can uh, specify dot after that but here we are not specifying so let's first floor enter yes enter okay so this way and after that you can create so now how you can uh, how we can easily create after this so we will choose pick line option pick line and then you specify the offset value you specify the offset value like uh, if you have uh, fixed floor to floor distance so then like specify the offset value 3000 and here you see this make plan view option is checked okay suppose by mistakely you uncheck this make plan view option so what will happen okay now let me show you the procedure with this pick line option so you will pick this line and with this offset you will create you will level like this offsetting this line and again you will if you create you will offset so this way you can create easily so that's the now see these two level i have created but it doesn't added in this floor plan within this project browser right so that's why it should be checked make plan view should be checked so that you have to follow it up and now let me create another suppose now see this level 6 has been added all right so now let's change make sure you escape from the creation mode press escape now let's change it to to second floor three third floor four fourth floor yes okay so now you see i don't have second floor and third floor on my project browser so how you can bring it bring it back so for that go to view and there you have this plan view option okay so you want to create floor plan so go to floor plan and these will be available there you have to select this and you click on okay do not duplicate existing views click on okay now you have this okay you are in right now north so now you see that why i have created uh, i have named these level like that because of that i am getting all the floor plans in order all right so you will create your level first and then in particular floor plan you will create your grids so for that you can go to architecture tab and you can start creating your grids okay according to your center line or according to your plan okay otherwise what you can do is suppose you don't want to create grid over there so what you can do suppose you already have cad files over there so you can insert your cad files so for that go to insert and you can choose link cad 
or import CAD. So we have some difference between link CAD and import CAD. What is that? Link CAD, if you choose this option, so that will be linked to your AutoCAD file. If you if there is any changes in AutoCAD file, so for that you don't have to insert the file from the beginning again you don't have to do that so if you link add so then you will refresh that file it will be updated in revit so that's the option and if you choose import cad so then you will just import it it will be linked with your autocad but also uh, you can have some benefits from import cad like you can uh, explode that file, you can have all the lines and the text from your CAD files. So for that, if you want your text and lines from your CAD files, so then you choose import CAD option, okay? So that is how we will start creating our project, okay, this way and uh, I was mentioning about the increment value, right? I was mentioning about the increment value. So for that we have some, some snaps. So go to manage tab and we have this snap option. The snap. So for that this snap off, if you type SO, then snap will be off. If you type SO again, it will be on again okay or you can go with s s is the shortcut for on and off your snap all right so here you see this length dimension snap increment is there so when you are closed or you are too much zoomed in so this will be the increment value next this will be the increment value as per your zooming condition this will be the increment value these are the increment value and same like that for ang angular dimensions you have this increment value and you have some shortcuts for your uh, these are the snap point shortcuts so suppose if you are creating let me show you suppose you are so this is the end point suppose you want to find out the middle point or any other point like that suppose you want to find out the middle point so for that let me uh, type sm see it will you don't have to find out revit will find out for you if you type sm or the particular uh, snap points shortcuts all right so go to this snaps and these are the snap point shortcuts so you just remember all of this it will help you to create or uh, to access your project quickly modify or create your models quickly okay all right so next is your view uh, within this view tab we have some user interface option is also available user interface so you can see this if this view queue is not available in your 3d so that you can check this option navigation bar project browser also you can check it from here system browser is for your system related task that is for mechanical electrical and plumbing related task your properties palette you can check your status bar so that is the status bar you can check or uncheck okay so in the status bar we have some design options and for work sets all right so views you need all the views within your browser so that you can choose sheets all the sheets schedules all the schedules you need so that is so that way you customize okay and if you want to close the inactive views you can close the inactive views all right now see in this properties palette we not only when you select the select the object we not only get the object properties 
here also if nothing is selected you can get the properties for this for this view itself okay so right now you see this view is set as a 1 is to 100 scale this is the view scale for this particular floor plan view and display model is right now normal you can make it half tone so we will come into that uh, in details later detail level so we have some detail level how much uh, detail you need and that you can select okay and visibility graphics override is there so here you are getting this visibility as per the object properties as per the uh, object materials so you can override them with this visibility graphics so we will come into this later in details okay and uh, orientation project north we will learn that also in details later okay and you can crop you can crop the view make the crop region visible so this is the total view you are getting but in this particular view you can create this half or this half you can create this view like that so for that you want it as a separate so go to ground floor plan and make it duplicate like duplicate with detailing so with all the details detail means like uh, all the annotation you have provided or the detailing uh, you have created with that detailing you will copy that so suppose like uh, suppose this is the uh, room corner so you can rename it go to rename and let's create with room corner view okay so this way you can create another view and if you go to ground floor and there what you have to do is uncheck this crop view uncheck this crop view you will get back and here you see in this room this is this view we have created and this is your ground floor so this way you can uh, duplicate your existing views you can uh, crop your views okay and we have some view range so we can set our range of view we can set that so that we will learn into our later classes and we can also like if you go to 3d view and you can within this 3d view you can create your scope box this selection box you can create so this selection box has some arrows so that will help you to get some section views slicing your project you can have some views so that you can have with that section views okay even if you go to modify so the, that is the selection box that is the shortcut for bx and now within this 3d view you have to uncheck this section box and you will get back your normal view so that's how we will access so first of all you must create with your uh, levels so that i have showed you how you should go and create your levels and after that if you have any autocad plan so that you insert with this link add or import CAD okay and then uh, if you if you have selected with link CAD so then you can manage the link you can reload unload like external reference and if you have simply imported the CAD file so that you cannot do you will just simply uh, select that file and control that so we will come into that also so that is for today this is the overview of this software. If you have any question regarding this, you can ask me. Amrin 
have you installed your software? Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, my no, my Windows has to be updated. It, um, and I'll do it probably. It should be done by tomorrow. Okay, fine. My Windows was not updated, so I've given it to to the technical guy for it. All right, good. Yes, yes. Okay, fine then. If you don't have any question, then I'm ending the class here.